another wonderful day. This is week six, I believe episode four or so. And I'm headed into a workout right now. Today is gonna be one of those early day type workouts. Um, at 10 o'clock, 10 to 11, lift, sweat, whatever. Uh, and then an, a 2.30 wrestle with the guys. So today is one of the harder days. So I'm going in expecting to, to hurt myself. Uh, I'm going in expecting to make it make it painful. And yeah, this, this there's no days off. Last night I was, I, I wish I could have got it on film, but the, yesterday was my day off. I don't film on Sundays. And I was throwing up and um, I don't know if it was because of the shock from some of the sugars that I was eating because yesterday was like kind of a carb day for me but I was hurting a little bit and um, all throughout the night I, I couldn't sleep my stomach was queasy nauseous I, was, I felt sick so but you know I feel better today so yeah that's that's about it so we're, we're gonna go in and get this work and uh, this week and the next next few weeks is going to be extremely imperative that I see the same shrinking results I, that I see shrinking results and essentially that means I still need to be hydrated I still need to be making sure I'm drinking a lot of water but whether that means my diet changes where I am removing calories or whether that means something else, I need to be doing that and making sure that every week my descent plan, I'm, I'm losing kilos or I'm losing weight. So that's going to be a huge focus this week. All right, just made it to the, we're going to the cardio room. I'm guessing we're going to run the gauntlet again. So get on the gauntlet, get a little sweat in and make it hard. Gotta make it hard today. Looks like they already beat me. Good stairs, Pepper. About 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna ride the bike for a little bit. We'll be downstairs. Hit a little lift. So I just had a workout. Well, it was way tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I kind of thought after having a couple of days off that, you know, you come in feeling like 100. Today I did not feel like 100, but still have to do it so I don't know it's hard right because some days you think or you expect something and then it doesn't end up working out the way that you want it to work out and it's like frustrating and hard because I know that I'm doing all the right things but you just trying to do the right things the right way the right time it's like kind of can wear on you a little bit so head home rest a little bit and then get ready for practice at two We'll grab a little food. Throw some of this dirty clothes away. country in here to, to work out with pretty much every day so it's pretty nice it's pretty nice to have that the more I continue in this sport the more I realize uh, what an emotional journey it is it is so hard this is a difficult sport man you got to be some type of crazy to be doing this sport <laughs> to be doing any type of sport at a professional level is it's a sacrifice and yeah, today is one of those days where we overcome, we get better. 
back to my apple cider vinegar drink. Little snack. All right, I'm up today. Until tomorrow. Today is the second day of the week, so we're ready to go. Okay. Get better today. I think it better today. We did it. So pretty much that's it for today because I'm gonna be doing a couple workouts later on today, and mostly because my body is seems to be reacting to all of the the work load in a kind of like holding the weight kind of situation. So. I am. It's just a part of it. This is not a very glamorous lifestyle. In fact, it's actually quite boring. Well, I wouldn't say boring, I would say it's monotonous and very disciplined, and you do the same thing every day. You wake up, you fuel up, you go to work out, you come back, you eat, you recover. You go back to practice, you work out hard, you recover, you eat, you sleep, repeat. That's it. It's not a glamorous lifestyle at all. Winning is glamorous. Having your hand raised, being in the spotlight, being on stage, that kind of stuff, that's all the glamour of it all. But 99% of the time, that doesn't exist. 99% of the time, that does not exist at all. So, yeah. Today was a tough day. It's a tough day. Not like, I think because you, you wanna do all the right things, you wanna live the right way, you are doing those things and you have to constantly overcome things that can appear to be setbacks or things that can appear to be yeah just obstacles but it's all a part of the journey and it's it's all a part of it you know so um it's all a part of it so Today is one of those days where it's another midweek evaluation. Midway through the week and you make adjustments. You have adjustments in your mentality, you have adjustments in your diet, you have adjustments in whatever it might be. You make the adjustments midweek and try to figure it out. So today is, is one of those days. Every week, it's been the same thing. Gotta make adjustments. 
Split video thing. Hey, so we just had a, we just had a little 30-minute spar. A little 30-minute spar. Yeah. It's supposed like, to be a drill, but you know, we, we started sparring. <laughs> and we got into a little bit. That's, that's just how it goes. Yeah. Um, what do you enjoy about wrestling? What do you enjoy about the sport? What's, what's the greatest part? What's the toughest? I just enjoy coming in here and scrapping. Just like laying it all on the line. Just like letting it go, letting it loose. And uh, you know, when I'm in here, I kind of like don't worry about things on the outside. You know, I don't worry about school, drama, everything going on. When I come in here, I just wrestle and just like let it fly and it feels good. It's kind of almost just like peaceful. Right. So, uh, except the days where, you know, like, <laughs> it's not so peaceful. Yeah, except when it's not so peaceful. But no, I just enjoy coming in and, and just wrestling, honestly. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a place where you can come, it's a solace. Yeah, it really is. When you come through here, like nothing else matters, and you kind of come in and just, you know, work on your craft, honestly. That's it, man. I love that. Yeah. All right, bro. All right. Catch up with you. So, the sauna is one of those very special places where you come and enjoy a good sweat you know you bring a camera in it falls all up you wipe it off you go back to sweating so um those of you guys who don't know how it works or if you've never been in a sauna before you got a, just a bucket of water you got a hot grill stove yeah throw it on there it makes a sizzling noise Wipe your lens. Wipe off your lens again. It starts to heat up. Then it fogs up again. All right. The sun is time for reflection to calm your mind. Kind of think about what you're doing, why you're doing it. Most of the time, it should be just super relaxing. Sometimes, especially if you're cutting weight really hard, it can be very demanding. Some people like to use it a lot. Some people don't like to use it that much at all, but it can serve to have like a lot of benefits, especially doing this and then going straight to the cold tub, which I didn't plan on doing it today, but if the cold tub is on, I will probably go into the cold tub too. So I do a, I usually do like, I don't know, 15 to 20 minute segments in here and then go over there to the, yeah, to the cold tub uh, for, you know, three, three minutes, depending on how cold it is. Beautiful day in slightly sunny, slightly cloudy Ithaca. And you know what we're about to do, we're about to go work out. Because that's what we do out here. We work out. We had a good little spar workout, and that's pretty much it for the day. I'm gonna sauna a little bit, and then I'm gonna um, spin my head to the house, cut some hair, relax, and then get ready for matches tomorrow. And just like that, another week gone by. We have made it through another week, and I've learned a few things, and I've got confident in myself. I'm getting better at cooking, and overall, I'm in a good place. And that's a good place to be because yesterday, yesterday or two days ago, I don't know what, which one it was, but I was all types of freaked out, to be honest. All types of freaked out, but stay the course. Stay the course. We are going to have to overcome certain things, and we need to go through. It's the idea that our faith has to be tested. So, let your faith be tested. Allow it to happen. Conquer, overcome, do it, make it happen. Tomorrow matches, 10 a.m.
All right, it's Friday. Here is my performance food. We got these uh, keto pancakes, birch benders, with um, strawberry, sugar free here, uh, or raspberry preserves, and a um, tablespoon of this, tablespoon of this, and then eggs with a little cheese, and um, bell peppers and spinach.